the father our father in heaven is the father of revelation he loves to give us revelations for the Lord God doeth nothing but he reveals the secrets unto his servants the prophets for the Lord God doeth nothing he doeth nothing A time came when he came to Peter in the night or in the vision and showed Peter the vision of Jesus. And Jesus knew that Peter had captured the revelation of who he was from the realms. He began to ask questions. He knew. He asked that question to provoke the answer. And he says, who do men say that I am? Some say, oh, okay, he asked the disciples. He says, some say you are one of the prophets. Some say you are this. Some say you are Elijah. Then he said, who do you say that I am? He threw the question because he knew that somebody has seen something in the realms. And immediately, Peter answered and said, Lord, you are Christ, the Messiah, the son of the living God. And Jesus says, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. But my Father in heaven has revealed it. And he says, upon this rock, I will build my ecclesia. And the gates of hell will not prevail. So the question is, is the ecclesia being built on this rock? What is the rock? Revelation from the Father. Be seated. Upon this rock, what's, what's the rock? Upon receiving revelation from the Father concerning Jesus, it's the rock. So the gates of hell will prevail when men cannot receive directly from the Father's Spirit. So religion has so disconnected us from God. So we are so in tune with letters, with doctrines, letters, doctrines, which is good, great, but men can no longer hear from God. Spiritual antennas are dead. Spiritual connection is dead. Didn't Jesus show us what the rock on which the church must be built? Even Jesus didn't preach himself. He didn't. He preached the kingdom. He preached the Father. He preached the will of the Father. He preached the power, the kingdom, and the glory. He that have seen me have seen the Father. And the father gave Peter the revelation of Jesus, not according to theology, not according to letter, but according to the father's instructions. Three times the father preached Jesus. Three times the father revealed Jesus. When Jesus was baptized in the water, the moment John the Baptist had immersed Christ in the water, and a voice louder than the realms of the Spirit and said, This is my beloved Son. That was the announcement to Satan. In the realms, the announcement 
the father announced Jesus, preached Jesus to the principalities, powers, rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in the heavenly realms and told Satan, this is my son. And when Jesus went to the wilderness, Satan came. The first thing he acknowledged was his sonship. He says, if thou be the son of God, turn this stone into bread. We saw again God announcing Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration. And a voice louded and said to Peter, James and John for the first time in the realms. said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. He completed it. But the first one was, this is my beloved son. The second one, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. The second one was when the father revealed Jesus to Peter three times. So you see that? The first was John the Baptist, baptism. Second was when Peter captured it in the realms. The third was when they were in the Mount of Transfiguration three times. And Apostle Paul prayed and said, Oh, since I heard of your faith and love, I cease not to pray for you. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, might give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So you have a knowledge of him in the world. But he says there is another that comes from the spirit of revelation and wisdom. Then that the eyes of your understanding can be flooded with light. That ye may know. So there are things you can never know in the letter until light comes, until vision comes, until encounters come, until ascensions happen. Hallelujah! Yeah. Yeah. Apostle Paul said, how by revelation made known unto me the mystery. How did he get it? He said, I know of a man. Whether in the flesh or in the spirit, I do not know. But such a one was caught up to the third heaven. There he was shown the visions of the deep things of God. War against the beast of Europe with the bondservant of Christ John. 11th and 12th July 2024. Day 1, 6 p.m. Day 2, morning session, 9 a.m. Strictly for ministers. Evening session, 6 p.m. Open for everyone. Venue, PWA Silverdome, van der Hagenstraat, 2722, NT Zotermeer, Netherlands. Register now for seat reservations. Visit our website, www.spiritrevelationchurch.org. The Tribe of Fire presents... International Ministers Conference with the Bond Servant of Christ John. Dates 27th through to the 29th, August 2024. Session times day 1, 6 p.m. Day 2, morning session, 9 a.m. Evening session, 6 p.m. Day 3, morning session, 9 a.m. Evening session, 6 p.m. Register now for seat reservations. Visit our website, www.spiritrevelationchurch.org. Venue 284. Four Trekker Road, Maitland, Cape Town, South Africa. See you in the realms.